Hello, good evening. Tonight, we have a little bit of a riddle. The riddle is, is this guy an agent? I'll give you what I know, and then we'll go from there. I might be eating a lot of crow, because I said yes. And I didn't, I not, until recently, I didn't use anything to channel or do anything. So this is what I said yes to, and then we're gonna figure it out. The backstory is very insignificant about the backstory so far. He, oh, you can see this from the top. So I'm gonna move my notes over here. Okay, for my history people, you tell me what you pick up just from knowing what I'm about to tell you. 40, uh, male, 40, Egyptian origin, speaks Arabic and Portuguese. He's an A-type personality. We'll call him a med for right now. He's an a super A-type, okay? Does that sound to you like perhaps he's an agent? To me, they had me at Arabic and Egyptian, the Portuguese too, and super A type. So I said, yes. Well, three days ago, or that happened. And for three days, I have been feeling like I needed to look into this a little bit more because I stopped it. Yes, I didn't, I just stopped. So if I am wrong, I will call my girlfriend and give her a huge apology. And if I'm right, then we'll just leave it at that. So for my history friends out there, the background, say 40 something, he could be early fifties. I don't know. His name, he's Egyptian origin, speaks, a, uh, a, a, I almost said Aramaic. If you know that, you know that. Um, Ara Arabic, wait, he's Arabian. He can speak Arabic and Portuguese. Where did they send the Nazis? And he's an architect. I mean, on paper, it looked like a slam dunk. But since we're here, I'm going to pull the yes no cards. And I am going to ask if our friend Ahmed is an agent. That is not his name. Because I don't, if he is, then he is. I mean, I don't, I just assumed he was. And I don't really, I'm not into like doxing. So, Ahmed, are you an agent? All right. Can you leave your comments if you automatically assign thought yes, just from, just from that. That's all I needed. That's all I heard. And I was like, of course he is. <laughs> Sounds like an ideal agent. Okay. So, Ahmed, are you an agent? Yes, no's. <clears throat> The cards are gonna play as long as you're ready. All right, how can I ask this? <laughs> do you have a double life? Ahmed, do you have a double life? Not possible. Oh no, I might be calling one of my girlfriends in 10 minutes and apologizing. So we'll do two out of three. The first one is just a joke. Like the cards didn't feel, I didn't ask it right. The second question, or when I narrowed it down was, do you have a double life? I've already said sacred space, called in the quarters, and it says not possible. Do you work for an agency? Do you work for an agency? Under no circumstances. It's two out of three. Wait, are you really who you say you are? <laughs> the government missed a boat on that one then. All right, are you really who you say you are, Ahmed? Possibly. Okay. Now we're back into the playing games. Huh. Well, 
I mean, I could I could do a reading on him, but what are we, how are the cards going to tell me? Didn't ask much. So right now, at this exact moment, the cards didn't really feel like playing, but we got two out of three. He's not an agent. I'm not in the recruiting business for that agency. I used to be a recruiter. But if I was, I missed the boat. So, according to the yes no cards, he is not an agent. I'm going to just throw some tarot cards and see what we need to know. I'm trying to decide if I should use a different deck. Hmm. <laughs> This isn't helping because we have the hermit who's asking us, I guess technically he's asking us to look at the, okay, wait, hold on. I don't know. So technically, well, the hermit's the smartest person in the room. In reverse, which it technically came out, is a mental health, hardcore mental health problem. And I don't mean like Queen of Swords mental health, like that's not fixable. This is like serious depression. It's like you would, if I was doing a real read, like a reading, not just being nosy, I would be concerned if I saw this in real life because this is like a, a serious mental health. Like when you're in the dark, darkest spots of your life and it doesn't, there's no hope. Well, the fool technically was in reverse too. And this is a new deck, and I haven't spent enough time with it to know what it likes yet, but the fool in reverse is careless, and it's like making impulsive decisions. This person, this guy, might have like some serious mental health problems, though. The world is an end. Someday I will teach you guys how to read su uh, suicide on the cards. Because sometimes when you're speaking to them, their subconscious is over the rodeo. But their conscious isn't. It's a very touchy subject. And I will do a video on it someday. I, 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 I mean, just the, these three cards. It's like a, a serious mental health. Like, this is something, well, I can speak for Capricorns, as a Capricorn. I do really well out west, where Colorado, it's sunny, and it's, like, very different than New England. Or after I got a divorce, and I wasn't driving a minivan with a couple kids by 30, I was, like, definitely in a dark spot. Oh, and then I got sober. So... This is a serious mental health card. And then the fool in reverse is like really reckless. He's like going to run right off of the cliff. And then the world is just an end. That's the end of a cycle. I mean, we're not doing true crime. This was a real reading. There's, I would be seriously concerned about this person. We have a knight bringing money. I don't really know what the money has to do with this because then we have a king. So maybe if our buddy, what's his name? We're calling him Ahmed. 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 If you aren't an agent, which I almost want to use a pendulum. Just kidding. Or I think there's some serious mental health going on here. 
this would concern me if I was reading. Well, I wouldn't stop at this. So why don't we do this? Like I'm just, he's sitting in front of me. All right. I'm going to talk to me. What's going on with you? I don't know about this. Okay, we know he's a hard worker, yeah. Yeah, he likes, I wonder what his birthday is. Oh, these were ups, this is in reverse. I mean, two five. Oh, if his life is falling apart, the five cups in reverse. This is like this card for me. Wah, wah. I in real life, this is like usually I get it for women or men. Actually, it doesn't it doesn't have sex, but it's when like you're carrying like the weight of the house, like you're doing everything. You're burnt out and you're over it. That's what this means in real life. In any true crime case, it's like the pretend victims like Stacey Chapin showing up at crime con doing sketchy stuff victim there are a few other victims that we're working on in the Karen Reed case come to mind carrying the weight so that's what I mean the five of cups in reverse first of all your cups are empty but this is also can be a recovery card I mean or an addiction card we have the five of pentacles upright. That's out in the cold. Like losing everything. I wonder if he's lost his marbles. Like he's a hard worker and he's skilled. He's a tradesman. So this could be like a doctor, a plumber, someone who's like a like an engineer, someone who's it's a skill. It's it's skill set. So like the a dentist. You can't be like in mark. I mean, I guess you could. I was going to use marketing. Marketing is very general, though. Like you communicate, you're doing a lot of things. This is more specific. This is a skilled labor, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a laborer. This is someone usually like I would give them a degree, like a degreed skilled, and it could be like an apprenticeship. But I do know that about him, though. He does have this skill set that I'm talking about. And he works hard for his money. This is normal to see. This Ten of Wands was upright. Well, actually, technically, it was in reverse. So, I mean, maybe he's releasing some of his pressure. Giving up, it's a collapse. I think this is a mental health crisis. That's what I think this is. But this doesn't mean that he's not a secret agent. Can you have two lives? I mean, I think this is a serious mental health crisis. I would be concerned if I knew this person, which I don't. I mean, I, don't, I, I guess what I don't really know this isn't telling me if he has two lives. If we'd gotten any duality, like High Priestess, we didn't get any duality cards. Hmm. I might have been wrong, which is okay. I don't mind being wrong. Can mental health crisis be like bipolar? Oh. Actually, maybe that's what it is. So based on our very limited knowledge of this man, who doesn't know me by any means, just to, on paper, to me, he looks like an agent. According to the cards, it looks like he has a serious mental health problem. Like, I mean, a, a concerning amount of depression and, like, collapsing, giving up. There's hope here. 
his world's over. I don't really know what the king, if I knew his birthday, that might help. He might be an earth sign. I bet he's like a fire sign. Because it's not as, de the earth is pretty stable. You pretty much know what you're getting. Money is like, he works hard for his money. He could be losing his money. He could be giving up. I mean, this is concerning. Um, when I said I was going to give you guys a lesson on the on a, suicidal cards, neither of these are. But when they're in reverse like this, these are, to me, red flags. This is a, this is a ser pretty, pretty serious red flag. The Hermit's a Virgo, so he's also an earth sign. I mean, this guy could be an earth sign. The world. What is the world? A Capricorn, of course. <laughs> I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's probably an earth sign. And the reason I'm going to say that is because earth. What is it? Earth. 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 And earth. Of the six, seven cards I just pulled. Wait, one, two, three, six, ten. Of the ten cards I just pulled, six are earth signs. So that didn't get us anywhere. I'm going to clear this space, and I'm going to do another yes, no. I'm going to light some more sage. And I might be eating some crow to apologize to my girlfriend. And I don't know what their relationship is, but why don't we just clear everything? We'll just start over. And we'll set some sacred space again. All right, we're gonna give this another try. Pretend we, oh, it's already 17 minutes. Sorry, team. Okay, so we're gonna start this all over. Ahmed, are you an agent? Not ever, but it's in reverse. So that's technically yes. Getting a negative, that was just a negative too. Well, I owe my friend an apology then. If there's anyone in here that's not getting agent just from those credentials, well, actually only if you understand history. If you don't understand history, it, then it doesn't matter. I mean, you're, whatever your feelings are, that's cool. But if you know history, then you know. But I, it looks like I owe my friend an apology. It looks like you might just have a serious mental health, like an emergency. I would, I would call that an emergency, not, not suicidal emergency. Like, perhaps I don't, I don't really know, and I don't feel comfortable. I would say it's an emergency. Like, if you are in his life, and perhaps he's like prone to depression bouts or something. The world coming, the world being there was a little, is literally a little concerning with the. Fool and the Hermit in reverse. Well, based on the credentials, I'm standing by based on the cards. I was wrong. I don't think he's a double, a, like an agent. I think he just has a, a serious mental health issue. That's what I got. And if you know history and you know what I'm talking about, or if you don't and you have a feeling based on his credentials, that's cool. But I know there are a couple of history, there are some history lovers in here. Well, uh, I explained it, so I'll leave, I'll let you guys go. I love you and leave you. I don't know. I might have to come back to this. I'm curious. I have more questions. <laughs> All right. Love you. Good night.